Hello, beautiful mama. Happy Friday. Uh, coming in to uh, chat with you today about the labyrinth. Uh, the labyrinth is one of my favorite tools for helping to quiet the mind, to get still, and to really uh, connect with the wisdom within. So these are a couple of labyrinths that I've created over the years. They're called finger labyrinths, which means that you can use your finger to trace the pathway. Okay. And at first glance, uh, some folks might think, you know, that a labyrinth kind of looks a little bit like a maze um, because of its uh, twisting pathways and that sort of thing. Uh, but there's a couple of key differences between labyrinths and mazes. So for mazes, they can have several routes uh, and there are places that you can get stuck or blocked and you have to turn around and find your way uh, again back to um, back to the sort of the main route through the maze. Uh, on the other hand, with labyrinths, there is only one path. It's called a unicursal path. So once you enter the labyrinth, as long as you continue moving forward, in the case of a finger labyrinth, you continue moving your finger, you'll eventually end up in the center of the labyrinth. Uh, where you can pause and then the same thing for journeying out um, it's a single pathway so as long as you keep on moving you'll end up back at the uh, entrance of the labyrinth uh, so one of the really lovely things with labyrinths is that there aren't really any decisions to make beyond the decision to step into the labyrinth and to begin your journey with it um, and there isn't any um, questioning or confusion or things like that which can come up a lot in mazes when you're getting stuck in those dead ends and that sort of thing. Uh, so my experiences with the labyrinth started um, several years ago, um, a little bit before I was pregnant with my son, but I used it quite a bit um, during my pregnancy and, and afterwards as well. And um, for me, just in general for the labyrinth, I find it so fantastic uh, as I'm tracing it with my finger that it, it just really helps to I want to say distract and quiet my mind a little bit. So for me, I live up here a lot and the mind can be really loud. Um, and so when we think of meditation and of getting quiet and still, uh, sometimes it can feel really, really tricky. And so the labyrinth is a great tool to sort of busy your mind in a productive or meditative way um, so that you can um, get to that place of a little bit more quiet uh, where it's easier to, in, uh, to listen to that intuition or to listen to your heart. Uh, in preparation for labor and birth, I really used the labyrinth a lot for creating more connection with that intuition uh, because as I mentioned in, in one of my previous posts, which I'll post um, in the comments uh, below the live when I'm finished here, uh, it's called Into the Unknown with Confidence. Um, I really came to a realization during my pregnancy that pregnancy and labor and birth and breastfeeding and mothering, there are processes that are really rooted in instinct and intuition and inner knowing. And those are right brain processes. And oftentimes when we're getting ready for new experiences or um, planning for new things that are coming our way, we do a lot of learning. Uh, and that's more um, mind focused, more left brain focused, if you will. Uh, so the labyrinth is a really uh, wonderful tool for connecting with the right brain, with your creativity, with your intuition, uh, which can be a wonderfully supportive way to prepare for labor and birth. Uh, during labor, I actually had this um, finger labyrinth with me, uh, and this is one that I made just out of an air drying clay. Uh, so it's one that I I'm able to, when I'm using it, I'm actually able to close my eyes as I as I go in with my finger and, and follow the pathway. Uh, and so during labor, it was a really lovely tool for focus, um, helping keep me in my body and helping to manage pain through those processes. Um, let me see here. Just looking at my notes that I made before I got started today. So 
Um, if you're curious about learning more about the labyrinth, I will pop some links below to previous posts that I've done. I also invite you to explore and to access the Labyrinth Meditation for Mamas package. Uh, it comes along with a, a video that describes how you can draw your own finger labyrinth and then gives you some ideas and processes for moving through um, using the labyrinth as a meditation tool. Uh, and I also want to mention that the labyrinth is one of the main tools that we're using for connecting with inner wisdom in the Enlightened Postpartum program. So that's getting started here locally in the Moncton area uh, at the start of October. We're meeting for four weeks. It's a prenatal program. So if uh, you're pregnant or you know of a pregnant mom in the Moncton or southeastern New Brunswick area, I'd very much appreciate you checking out the program uh, and sharing it with pregnant women that you know. Um, and with that, what we're looking at is preparing for those early postpartum days, those things that maybe we haven't um, considered yet, um, maybe the experiences that folks haven't told us about yet or we haven't learned about yet. Um, we'll be talking about um, postpartum healing for both your body and your mind. Uh, we'll get into uh, a healthy start to your breastfeeding journey and digging into a deeper understanding around normal infant sleep and how it develops uh, in preparation for some uh, expectations that are aligned with really what's normal for babies uh, and then supporting you to feel more energy and more nourishment uh, no matter how your journey unfolds postpartum, uh, particularly no matter how your little one sleeps in those early days and weeks. Um, and as I said, we're using the labyrinth and some other meditation tools along the way to connect with that inner knowing and to connect with what's really important to us in this process of transitioning into motherhood. So all of those resources I'll include um, uh, in the comments below. I hope you're having a most magnificent day and uh, take good care. We'll talk to you soon.